During the early years, nearly every male student participated in ROTC. For more than three decades, Woodrow had one of the largest programs in the country. Out of this tradition of patriotism, students became soldiers. Woodrow Wilson prepared me for that because I was able to understand what people meant and I understood how the athletic part of it melted into the Marine Corps training and it helped me get over the hump. And I think if I hadn't had the Woodrow Wilson connection, I'd had a whole lot different situation in the Marine Corps because they, they, that Marine Corps is not for sissies. for three years and it was the best 1,095 days of my life. I was with two very good units um, on the west coast on, out of California was with the Alpha Company 3rd Recon. I came home on leave they let me my unit gave me a 72 hour pass and and I I was gonna get it at home I was gonna get to come home on Friday morning and um, I had they had, the Woodrow people had just had been notified that Harold had died, Harold Sides, a classmate of mine. And uh, he, he, would, he would, died with 52 other soldiers. He was in the Army and they were in a helicopter in a great big old Chinook and it took fire and crashed. And everybody said that Coach Dawson would be the one to tell me. My eyes glazed, glazed over and I grabbed the counter and just to stabilize myself and just looked and turned around and walked right past Dawson again who was ready to talk to me now but I just went right back out, got in my car and drove home, told my parents and we started making phone calls and uh, I drove around town for a little while and uh, I headed back towards school and Coach Dawson was sitting there at 545 and uh, on the stairs waiting for me. Oh, 